what up shoe tube this is mo butters back again on the stone cold kicks channel and i got another sick lit beater box battle for you today we got two soul supremacy beater boxes here they're both similar value um i forgot to ask you how much is yours Mine is four fifteen. Our mine is four hundred dollars. So mm -hmm. they're fifteen dollar price difference in between these two boxes, but they're pretty pretty close cost. The values will be different depending on the shoes that we pull out. These are total mystery boxes. We have no idea what's inside. We buy them from Soul Supremacy. That's a big sneaker store, like sneaker boutique, sneaker resellers on the West Coast in California. They have a lot of stock and they make these beater boxes, but. Uh, it's just random mystery shoes. It's not necessarily beaters, beat up condition shoes. It's just shoes, you know, that they have overstock on. So we buy these every chance we get and we open them here on YouTube with you guys. So thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in. Right here, Mo Butters. We got the links below right here. Rock them, stock them, kicks. So, you, yeah, you know, we always got the beater box battles popping two at a time, all the time. In the links below, we got some Ebays with a lot of listings in there. Shoes and other stuff at all different price ranges, new and used, and some expensive and some some low price kicks as well. For those of you that can't afford that top dollar stunner stuff, we still got some hot hot fire deals and pairs for you to get your hands on. So make sure you check those links below when shopping for kicks first if you pull with the channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it off. I see no Lucy's over here from this viewpoint. I got a nine and a half older Nike box. What is it? Some forces, Warm. some older ones, all white with the jewel swoosh, clear bottom. These look in very good condition if worn at all. Look like with receipt. Yeah, they're worn for sure. Once I zoomed in on them and I see that receipt in there, let's get our hands on it because it's going to be, school. yeah, this is going to be a gem type yeah. of receipt. It's always fun when we get the receipts for old shoes because if you look at it and you look for that date, it's just cool to see 5-12-06 right there. So that's pretty cool coming from Chic Shoes in California. That's just cool stuff to look at when you get these kind of mystery boxes. This is an old pair of kicks from around 2005 era, you know, so comes with the receipt. Check it out. It got the date on there. Sometimes it's all like whited out. You can't even see the ink on the receipt, but this one's nice and clear. You can see it. 51206 purchased. Got these forces, size nine and a half, them lows with the jewel swoosh. Let me know if you need these. All right, I got to start off with the loose pairs as usual. Um, I look like I just got one loose pair. Loose Got a pair of cool gray eights. Obviously a recent release. Um, these were releasing not too long ago. These are in good use condition. Very good use condition. I don't see any spots on, no on that suede like or these. anything. Size 10. Yeah, not too many spots on the suede. I like the suede on here, so it's a premium suede. But mm -hmm. uh, I like these cool gray. Nice plush so gray suede on those. Size 10, y'all can check out the bottoms. But uh, loose no box, size 10. Pretty cool to start off. Cool gray eights. I'll start with some. I got it's a cool gray type of box. That's the color of the box. Some EQT supports the push of tees. We've had plenty of these. I still got a bunch of them. Looks like I got another pair. Let me know if you need these prices in the description, but they're kind of low. They're not too much over a hundred bucks. So you could get your hands on these. These are brand new dead stock, and I have a bunch of sizes. They're mostly small ones though. So you can check the links below. They're all posted on the Shoe Supremacy. Let me know if you need these. This is a size six, brand new with the box. Push a T, EQTs. All right, I got a pair of uh, size 10 Jordan 11 Retro. Okay. Beat heat. Some old smoky beaters. Beat heat. That's that <laughs> hot fire though. Some beat heat 11s. <laughs> Like they were playing uh, softball on Sundays and these boys, man. Got them Columbia no cleats, 11s. Columbia 11s though from back in the day. The brown Probably bottom. Probably 01. Brown bottom, brown pen 11. <laughs> no showing the age. Some people call yeah, it yeah. lemonade on that. And it's uh, that white patent leather has turned a little yellowy like the bottom. Even the patent leather is yellow. Yeah. Some people call it the lemonade. They like that vintage look. There's somebody looking for those in that exact condition for sure. They like to they have probably are. This is vintage, like so that. yep. what year is this? Is these all these all probably ones? Oh one, oh two, yeah. Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand boxing card though. So do set out a card. With the retro the box card. Is, the box is crispy though. Let me see these up. Okay. Nice, nice, this nice. This is your second box though. Right. This is that heat. Oh, 
Yeah, all right. So I'll go ahead and bust it into the intermission while we got a minute. We'll go ahead and tell you about the Stone Cold Stunner boxes. I do have two beater boxes available for you to purchase. If you are not a Lucky Soul Supremacy beater box member, as we are, I have some boxes with some extra shoes also, and they are profitable. Seven to ten pairs of mixed sizes, same, similar to what I receive. Um, I just whipped these boxes up. I have a $400 box and a $500 box. If you go ahead and want to cop one of those, just go ahead and slide in the DM direct message on Instagram. Or if you don't have that capability, in the link below or in the description is a, a email link. So you can hit that up if you want to buy a Stone Cold Stunner box. Only two available this week, $400 and a $500. Shipping is $25 additional inside the United States. So back to the shoes. Beater box battle on my side. What we got? 21. You tell me about them. Phoenix Sun, Penny One. Phoenix Suns. I think those came out, in, I want to say 2010, 2011. I don't know if I've seen this color. I've definitely seen the black and blue Orlando yeah. Magics. I've seen these before, though. These are I, the Suns with this kind of purple and orange. This. Yeah, 2010. They 2010 release. I remember when they came mm -hmm. out. So. Nine and a half with, mm -hmm. with replacement box. That's yeah, not that the is a replacement box. They came in that brown box. Mm -hmm. that old school brown Nike. Oh, you know the brown Nike box that was all flimsy. Yeah, that two flimsy box, like the easy ones, right? Boxes, man. They have yeah, they uh, collapse under pressure every time. Yeah, that's the Phoenix Sun uh, Penny logo on the back background too. So I, if you didn't know, he played for the Suns like at the very tail end of his career. So mm -hmm. they got a few Penny One Phoenix Sun colorways and some of his models. So that's a cool pickup. Yeah, it's a nice pair, pretty rare pair, oh, rare colorway. Nine and a half, Lucy's. Oh, what do we got? And foam pies. I got some foam stuff. These are decent. You know. oh. yeah, these are decent size nine. That's what that's what the box say. Let me just double check. Yeah, double check. It's like a teal kind of aquamarine. Yeah. So it's a teal colorway. Um, almost go with your hoodie. Though. Yeah, almost. They do. So these are foam positive pros, obviously. You know, with the swoosh with on the, the side. Black swoosh. But these are in good condition, though, man. Like these haven't been rocked too much at all. I'm Very pleased nice. with this pair here. Yeah, this coming with the box and everything, though. Mm -hmm. So this is—I don't even know what release these was. I never really even seen these too often, though. To be honest with you. Uh, I sold a pair too. This is 2011. 2011 release. 2011 release on them. So those foams. are decent, man. So a pair of, of foams. I don't think I told you a size nine. I think I did say that. Let me know if you need them. No, definitely going for sale. So. Sure, sure. Let's see what we got over here. I got one of those brown collapsible boxes, but this one's still in good shape. And we got some Nike Zoom rookies. Got these. This is the white and blue Orlando Magic colorway. This is like a mashup kind of of a bunch of the Penny Hardaway shoes. It's like foam positive. And all that white part. Got the it's that the Penny One. Those two circle things. It's like from the Penny uh, Ones, right? Yeah, that's the Penny. The flight. Yeah, the flight ones. You right? Yep. They're from the Penny flight ones. Yeah, yeah, so these yeah, are pretty like cool. Mix. We got a little foam positive material yep. in it. Carbon fiber on the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is like a clear bottom. These have been warm. I can't even see if they're warm for sure. Yeah, I it, can't tell if it just... It might have just been tried on. Yeah. I don't see any signs of dirt. No pebbles. No nothing. <clears throat> but I think they were worn just a few times. So this is that size. Ten and a half with the box. Let me know if you need these. Stay up there. Remember, this was a $400 box versus a $415 box. Right. This beater box battle. Keeping it rolling. You got some Pumas. Oh, I got some Pumas, though. This box is, is all right. Pretty cool. Sturdy box. Let's see what it is. Oh, send off. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, some, that's some Kith. Oh, okay. Um, it's the same logo that was on the top box top. That's them Ronnie Figs. It was on the back. So, oh, yeah, there are Pumas. I see the logo there now. I was just looking at the back, yeah. I never seen these before though. Yeah, it does say Ronnie Fee on the on the interior. Yep, that's a Kith uh, Puma collaboration. Buttery Look. suede for real. Right. Yeah, so Puma always that. makes very nice material shoes. Mm -hmm. I just can't really rock with the brand personally. No. Yeah, they cool. Got some extra these laces cool. in there. You see the laces. I like this kind of lace. Yeah, it's two. It's two sets of laces in there. So two extra sets, so three yeah. total sets of laces in those Pumas. So we get the, and that, what's cool too is I see the paper is it still has that logo also. Um, a little flower looking thing. Little flower looking thing. So that's cool size. I don't think I even told y'all the size. I didn't even look. So these are size uh, eight and a half. Hey, 
right, a real small eight and a half, eight and half pumas. All right, let's see. So this is a size 10 Air Force One Lowe's. <laughs> Some, oh geez. Show them that back though. This is for it's called the clowns. The clowns. The clowns. Air Force One loads the clowns. Makes me think of the uh, American horror story we just had the, with, with the clowns in the American horror story the last season. <laughs> if y'all watch that. So these it says Ethiopian right here. Yeah. I, it's making me think the clowns is a <clears throat> Ethiopian baseball team. That's mm -hmm. what I'm going going with. I know these are called the clowns. It says Ethiopian right here, and this looks like a baseball type of shoe. Untold truth. Yeah, you can see if you look at the interior, it's a logo. Ne that's yeah. the Negro okay. League. Yeah, that's the Negro League. Museum. That's you. Can, that's a pretty cool interior, though. And these are the good Stitch. use condition. This yeah, is a size right ten. Right. Yeah. Let's check the release here since we got them out. Two thousand five. Bunch of 05 type of Eric kicks in here. That's decent. These are long sold out. Pretty hard to find. I'm sure. I'm gonna have to check the price. Right. Price will be uh you know priced according to what they're going for right now the going rate and these are going for sale soon so let me know if you need these size 10. so i got some jordan 11 low so i had the I had the highs and i got the lows i'm gonna have to get the gloves out bro got the yellow these 11s size, size, <laughs> size 10. That's the size 10, uh, old, obviously an OG release. That's them Zen, possibly, that's what they're called. Yeah. They're, it's the all white lows. I got a pair in better condition in a smaller size. Right. And this is all leather. It's not the, you know, I pattern, you know, not the, the mesh. Come with the mesh material. This is all leather. That's and, some OGs uh, for sure. They OGs, but they not, they not no soul separation. Yeah, still looking all together. Still wearable. I don't see no soul separation. With it, that's like the that's some off whites. That's some Jordan Eleven off whites. Oh, okay. That's all oh, the that's rage the right now. Yeah, that's, that's some off whites. Off that's what's rage right now. There's somebody looking for those in that exact vintage type of condition. Mm -hmm. Somebody need to rock those right now. So those vintage. going for sale, for sure. Yeah. With below. the box too. So. With that OG box. Size ten. Get your vintage kick game up with I'm those. Put them next to each other. I think this belonged oh, in the course. last box because it's that old premium. Oh, that premium tag, yeah. That I had that on forces. my clear. Yeah, those come with some forces back in the back day. Like day. Those, those came with those clear, uh, those Air Force One clear ones recently, I had. Yep. Recently, yeah. Just had those recently. Yeah. I'll pull this one out first. I got three boxes total. This is one of them. Get these out the way. Some all white EQTs, yeah. supports. This is a size nine and a half. And these are looking. Those dead stuff. They, they've been uh, tried on. Yeah, they look that. like they're tried on, maybe <clears throat> worn into the front yard or something. They're like nice and icy white everywhere, except a little bit of tiny bit of dirt on the bottom. Mm -hmm. You gotta oh, zoom in, super scope on it. But this is some all white EQTs, like new, size nine and a half. Let me know if you need these. Yep. Still drive them up there. That's fine. So look like I'm keeping the vintage 11s rolling. Oh, your box, face box. Size 10. Okay. Cool gray 11s. You got them cool brown 11s. Get the gloves out for these, man. <laughs> Hands will be washed after this. <laughs> <laughs> these are uh, cool gray 11s from 2001. Definitely vintage and uh, definitely used and worn. They're still together though. No they social are, though. separation. They've probably been wearing them a lot over the years. Bust them out. Wear yeah. them for a whole month straight. Whatever they was, they Coming was bouncing away. on their toes walking in these, Jack. Yep. <laughs> A little curled up in the front. Like I'm gonna put all those together, man. Those go together, but the, with the box, with the card. Yeah, still you know, complete. Still complete set, though. No soul separation right now. No, it ain't no complete soul with separation. The card. That's box what's actually, in good condition. That's what's actually impressive about this. Still a collector's item. The right person is looking for all those 11s for sure. He's right, though. 11s is that hot fire. I got two boxes. I'll just pull this one out. Yeah, I got Dig two around. Also. Jordan something. It says size 8. What we got? Some Jordan number 3s. Them white infrared. Kind of like the Tag. white cement. Got that in there. Let's check the condition. Very good use condition. Barely worn. Just a few times. Slight, slight crease. That's what happens with the 3s as soon as you put them on. But this is a pretty hot fire release nonetheless. With the nice weather coming up. Spring and summer. Going with the shorts. It's gonna be a whole bunch of Jordan 3s dropping this year. 
this is an older release. Nobody gonna have these in hot fire, fresh condition. So you can let me know if you need these. This is that little foot size mm -hmm. eight. Let me know if you need them. Right, what I got down here at the box? This I go to the Jordan box. Foot locker. Got the old, got the foot locker uh, East Bay tag on there. That's probably when the got. robot grabs it in the warehouse. Yeah. So that's 12. That these looking DS Jordan ones. And these are DS. <clears throat> yeah, so this is 12 and a half <clears throat> Jordan ones. Um, they come with. What's this right here? That's some oh, tags that's that go on the front tongue. I think it's oh, some okay, rare okay. errors. It has Let me some show different. You the one with the tag. So just show y'all because it's detachable. Good. Oh, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Right on almost like how them fours got the rare. Yeah. Yeah. So that he's right. That comes off. <clears throat> and you got some extra tags in here. Rare. That's green and look like neon green jump man. Look like it's some red. Uh, says rare, rare, rare on, on here. So Probably it might be infrared. four total. Yeah. So look like it's four total in this bag. And then you got the ones that's on, and it says rare air once you. Look, customization that, options so. for those. I always like that rare air when you can take that on, yeah, give you another different. option. And then it says there's Jordan on the side. <clears throat> I always do like gray shoes, black laces. Yeah, those crispy are pretty clean. clean. White bottom. That rare size 12 and a half. I, I wear a size 13, so it's hard to get half sizes after 12, pretty much. Sometimes you can, but. All right. But they good. are rare for sure. That's a good shoe. All right, all right. Last box for this side of the beater box battle we got another pair of these nike zoom, zoom rookies. rookies like i said earlier it's like a mashup of a bunch of pennies this is like all blue <coughs> game game royal royal blue check the condition looking warm but barely i don't really see any dirt but they have been worn just a few times so just that 10 to have with the box let me know if you need these all right so my last pair box size 13 Air Max Zero Essential. He's looking brand new. Got those dead stock. Yeah, looking brand the black new. and white version. Yeah, these are brand new. So Air Max Zero, size 13. My size. What they going for sale? Going for sale. Clean DS. Looking mad comfortable. Mm-hmm. So let me know. Kind of nice and squishy on the bottom, really. They do. That's like a squishy definitely material man uh -huh. so that concludes my box yeah and that's both boxes of this beater box battle brought to you on the stone cold kicks channel thanks for tuning in thanks for showing love and support on all the vids go ahead and drop a like we and a comment it. if you haven't done so already and make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell to get on notification gang if you haven't already done that go ahead and slide into the on feed heat portion i got a little something it's um kind of a newer release from the summertime I've showed it already a couple of times and some people kind of got them on feet and they might also be shelf sitters currently at a foot locker near you, but I don't care. I like them a lot. These are pretty cool to me. I did a lace swap and added a lace lock because I like mm -hmm. to switch my stuff up like that. And real talk today, I've thrown this fit and I um, meant to throw on them all red 11s the win like 96s. Mm -hmm. I had them on, I was in the mirror, I was like, no. You I wasn't ain't, feeling. Wasn't feeling those all red 11s. Too red for me, I ain't feeling them. That's the verdict on those. So my pair, they did not get on DS. I just had it on my foot and I'm gonna put it back together. So those are brand new dead stock and they're for sale. That size nine and a half. Let me know if you need it. I also have 10 and a half. Links below. Let them know. Let me know. Yeah, I'm the same way with them uh, uh, wearing like 96s. I wear size 13, so it's just gonna look big on my big foot. Big old so red shoe. Big red shoe, bozo bucket. <laughs> I, I couldn't fool the with Ronald it either. McDonald 11. <laughs> but my own feed heat is uh, actually a newer release too, like his and could be shelf sitters, but this is uh, obviously Deion Sanders. I'm a big Deion fan. He only had uh, three OG colorways. This was one of them, the white, black, and red ones. And it was a black pair with a, with purple like instead of this teal it was purple i have those two the older one came out one time retro but these are the 2016 version these are recent yeah where did and the teal come kind of from in the colorway yeah that's crazy i don't know where the teal came from because he was with the falcons when these came out and this was og like i said the other two was og but i think he just wanted to come out with a Contrasting different, color. Yeah, different color that stands out and these are these are the emeralds my bad these are called the emeralds and it goes with the jaguars hat Sad to see them lose against the Patriots, but this goes right with my fit and hat, so it's pretty cool. But like he said, I don't know where that teal came from. 
the emerald but a lot of shoes kind of had emerald those griffies and everything so you know grape fives this was around that same time you know where the, the emerald was a hot that's color good. yeah so that's probably where they came from mm -hmm. but uh I'm a fan of these, man. Just old, the OG the color. Strap, you like all the ones with the big strap. Yeah, with the big strap. These are the Diamond Turf ones, though. So this was his first shoe. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of colorways, but only three OG colorways that he made. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for joining in to the Beater Box Battle on the Stone Cold Cakes channel. <clears throat> Until next time, we're going to keep these Beater Boxes popping two at a time, all the time. Later.